Springtime in Minnesota. Hey, what's good, fam? Thanks for joining me. I am at a state forest, Sand Dunes State Forest near Big Lake, Minnesota. Yes, it's springtime. It's 50 degrees outside. The snow is melting. And this is like the first spring adventure. I'm digging it. Hey, my name is Rob Pelton. I did have to work this morning, but I got off early enough to make an hour drive up here. The road coming in here was really, really sketch. But it's a state forest. You can disperse camp here. There are designated campsites, yes, but the rest of the forest you can just... But tonight is just about getting out and enjoying some of this warmer weather. It's gonna get down to like 29 tonight. That's warm for us. And I threw out an invite to a couple of people and they were kind enough, or dumb enough, to actually say yes. So let's walk through the woods and see who we can find. That's Aaron with Signal Outdoors. Link to his channel in the description below. And this is Swag. Swag <laughs> on the Trail 82 again. Check out his channel below in the description. He'll have a video of this trip. Signal will have a video of this trip. So just go down in the description, check out their channels. There's some good stuff out there. Videos everywhere. We're at camp. Let's check out some camp setups, shall we? Here's Aaron's hammock setup. 10 points if you can tell me what it is. Yeah, so I got the Superior Gear uh, hammock setup. I brought my winter tarp with me. Um, it's got full doors on it. A 15 degree, 950 fill power down hammock. My sleep clothes in this little thing. Because Danny puts these little clips on all of his stuff sacks, which is awesome. You just snap it to your ridge line. I keep my, like my phone will be charging in here at night and I got some extra clothes in there, so. This is Swag Setup. It's famous. He's a tent guy. We have not converted Swag to hammocks yet, but he's had this tent everywhere. This thing has been bomb proof. Yes, it's heavy, I get it, but it's, it's done him really, really well. But you wanna talk about organization? Check this out. Superior gear, 45 degree hammock. Now what's nice about Superior gear hammocks? The under quilts are built in, they're sewn in. So no fidget factor, no fuss, none of that stuff. It's just good to go. Like so, as soon as you hang it, you're ready to rock and roll. Superiorgear.com. For, for the ease of use, it compacts well and it's, it's extremely well made. So Danny, the owner of Superior Gear, if you're watching, good stuff, man. It's supposed to get down to like 27, 29 degrees below freezing. And this is a 45 degree hammock. We got a 30 degree top quilt. So I'm gonna test on how effective this is well beyond its threshold. But I'm a warm sleeper. So we'll, we'll see how that works. Sleep accommodations done. Now the tarp, it's a 12 foot uh, hanger tarp from UGQ. It's just one of their stock tarps and it's perfect for this combo. This is my kind of lightweight, like go far combo. I do love my, my Ridge Runner hammock. It's actually the most comfortable hammock I have, um, but it's bigger, it takes up a lot of space. It is heavier. Uh, so in, in warmer, warmer weather, uh, this will be my setup. Now it's time to just relax because I have a hard time not doing anything. So I'm gonna force myself to do nothing. Check this thing out. It's a portable fire pit. Mr. Schwager brought this with him. So for places like this that don't have fire pits, it folds up like this. Somehow, I don't, am I gonna break it? I don't know. Oh, check that out. There you go. Look at that. That's it. That's pretty sweet. It weighs about two pounds. Yes, it's not ultralight, but for what it does, it's, it's pretty sweet. So my question is, is do you think something like this will find its way into my pack eventually? 
Can we go this way? Nope, you're out the right way. He's going to uh -huh. put these little slots into these slots. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. <laughs> time it's like 6 15 and there was kind of a lot of people at this park as I was driving in there are a lot of cars but now we're here and there, there's nobody out here it's quiet sun's going down it's gonna be a nice peaceful night one thing I wanted to say you know when it comes to a lot of this camping stuff but more importantly starting this YouTube channel uh, you know however many years ago doing the YouTube thing has afforded me some wonderful things. Yes, experiences in the outdoors, traveling to new places, hitting new trails, uh, you know, canoe trips, all this kind of stuff. Just reasons to be outside doing different things, bike packing, hot tenting, all that stuff. But even more importantly, whoa, snow's getting deep. More importantly is the people I've met. I've met some, some stellar people through this YouTube thing. Um, you know, some people who subscribe to me, I've met a few of those. And then I've met a lot of other YouTubers who do the same thing I do. You know, backpacking and stuff. And they're really good people. And there's a handful of them that I really, truly, you know, call friends that you know, I would do anything for. So I'm thankful for the opportunities that YouTube has brought me. So that leads me to YouTube itself. It's 2022. And my plan for this year and my channel is uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go hard on it. I'm gonna try to put out as much as I can. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that now. That way, you don't miss anything. Hit the notification bell, all that stuff. That is, of course, if you actually wanna see my face. But look where I am. Amazing. Anyhow, I just wanna thank you for supporting me and everything that I do and watching my shenanigans. It's awesome, so. Thanks. Got a little dinner starting here. Fancy fee stove, and I'm trying something a little different by Good To Go Meals. It's their Thai curry. I'm wondering how this compares to the coconut chicken curry from uh, Peak Refuel. Um, but this is a vegetarian meal, and I don't do vegetarian, <laughs> so I'm gonna add some chicken. And then Aaron, Signal Outdoors gave me a special IKEA brand tea. Yeah, you have to put it together yourself. It's crazy. <laughs> so with this, it actually comes with coconut milk powder. It's pretty fancy dancy. I do like curries, but curries are hard to get done well. You know what the street value of that was? Oh, <laughs> don't eat that. your favorite dehydrated backpacking meal brand? Is it, is it Mountain House? Is it Good To Go? Is it Camp Chow? What else is out there? Backpackers Pantry? Hamburger Helper. Hamburger Help. <laughs> so the, the Good To Go curry was okay. It wasn't bad. It wasn't great. Um, but definitely edible. It's not as good as Peak Refuel Chicken at Coke chicken coconut curry, um, but just okay. Now for dessert, I wanna show you something. Does that sound yummy or what? It's like 10 o'clock. It's about 32 degrees. My superior gear hammock that I'm in, it's rated for 45 degrees. And it's supposed to get down to about 27. So we're looking at 18 degrees past its threshold. So we're gonna see how it goes. Uh, if I get too cold, I did bring an extra under quilt, not too far away in the car, but uh, I'm gonna test out the rating, really push it. And hopefully I don't freeze. <sighs> it's 
been a good day. I'm glad I'm at camp. I'm glad I'm spending some time with these guys. I'm looking forward to a restful slumber in the woods. Just after seven o'clock. Uh, Aaron got up early, got a fire rolling. Super nice of him. It's 22 degrees. I got cold last night. I had to, uh, I, heard, I, heard Rob get up. I had to like actually dip out to the car to grab my other underquilt. And the other underquilt is just like a homemade Costco underquilt. So it's not, it's maybe 50 degrees or 60 degree rated. So even with that, I wasn't, I wasn't super warm. I wasn't cozy like I like to be out here. Enough to sleep, cool back, cool butt, chilly feet. But you know, this hammock is rated for 45 degrees and it's 22, so. With that being said, it wasn't bad, it was all right. But definitely anything below 40 degrees, eh, have to break out the other hammock for sure. Going on eight o'clock. Sam, Sam, you'll need air breakfast, air coffee air. going. Now just camp fire time. I'd like to make it up to the Superior Hiking Trail this year for the first time. Well, you haven't been up there? No, that's what I told you no. last night. Man, do you know you're talking to two Superior Hiking Trail like experts? <laughs> yeah. There we go. You guys will have to show me the ropes. Yeah, yeah, for we sure. We can show you the best sites, man. Yeah, we'll take yeah. the best spots. What about you, John? Boundary Waters. Really? Yeah, that's my goal. This there's, there's some great trails in the Boundary oh, Waters. Yeah. I think that about does it for the little sand dunes state forest overnight. It was good seeing Aaron again. Good hanging out with my buddy John. And I don't have to be anywhere today, so I'm in zero rush to leave. Just whatever you do, find a reason, find a way to get out on trail, out into the woods, and try to get lost if you can. Thanks for joining me. If you haven't already, subscribe right down there. It really helps me out. We'll see you on the next one.